Good morning. I'm Terry, and this is the Celtic Craft Studio. Welcome to my new subscribers, and welcome back to those that have been with me from the beginning. Let's get started. We're going to do a flip through today, but let me share uh, some of the papers that I used in this project. This is a paper pad from Paper Studio called Haberdashery. Got it a couple of years ago, so I don't know if it's still around, but it was at Hobby Lobby and perfect for this project. I like the fact that it's on brown paper, a very vintage look, and once again, just perfect for this. And then the papers that I used inside the journal are once again from a kit by Artie Mays. She does fabulous work. I encourage you to go check out her website. This digi kit was Old London 1 and Old London 2. I will put her link below this video, so go check it out. These are, these are beautiful. I think this was one of her older digi kits. Beautiful image that I used for the front. I really enjoyed putting this together. It was a trip down memory lane. I lived in England for four years, so it was truly brought back some wonderful memories. This book is eight by five and a half, and it has a one inch spine. And as you noticed, it's a chunky monkey. But there's a lot in it that you can take out if you want to make her thinner. I happen to like the chunky monkey look. I've told you that before. I love ephemera. I like the feel of something that has some substance to it. I used metal corners and lace on the side. And then for the closure, I used a hitch and then an elastic band that comes up to close it. This project was a little different in that it was an altered book. I love old books, so I have a lot of books that I can alter. This one was a murder mystery that took place in London, England, so I thought it was appropriate. The name of the book is Gideon's River. J.J. Merrick is actually a pin name for a man who was a scientist and he Inve helped investigate murders in London. So it truly was the perfect book. I left the particulars here. The copyright of the book was 1968. That's when it was printed in the United States. All right, as far as the altered book, let me explain it just a little. I'm sure some of you have seen tutorials on it. Uh, basically, you take a book. Obviously, I didn't use all the pages or it would have been out of control. So you have to rip out some of the pages and then glue two pages together to hide the rip. So I ended up with 22 pages all in varying, we've got pockets, we've got places to slide in journaling cards. So let me go through and kind of show you and explain. This one I folded over and used as a tuck. And inside the tuck we have some cards that I found online. It was fun doing the research for this. There were some beautiful ads, uh, beautiful graphics out there that I printed out to use in this. This one's for the London Museum. I believe it was probably a poster at one time. Beautiful. And then this was a map of London and the general bus routes. So I printed those off and put them in the pocket uh, journaling cards. But we have a lot of space. Once again, Artie Mays provides this lined paper that I absolutely love. And so there's a lot of this in here that you can journal on. Now I have to confess right now that I am not a journaler. I had many a diary, but I had trouble keeping up with the diary. It kind of felt like homework. So I didn't really do a diary like most girls. I'm one of those that when I go on a trip or I do something special with my grandkids, I like to collect like maps of the zoo or tickets to the zoo, 
and I like some place to put them and then maybe write a little something about what we did. So that's how I journal. So whether you be a person that loves diaries and wants to write a lot, or you're like me and you just gather memorabilia, you could take these out and put the zoo map and the and the tickets in here so there's plenty of space to put things and just jot your little notes. So there are many ways you can use a journal. I have a lot of people ask, so what would you use, especially men? I don't think men understand the journaling idea, but for women, it's just a, a fancy diary, in my opinion. So that's kind of how you could use this. And, you know, it's Victorian London. So if you're going to London, you could get this to jot down your trip. Or if you've been there, then you can use this to jot down memories and keep some of your keepsakes in it. Here I created a pocket by folding two pages over and then sliding journaling cards in it. You'll notice a lot of ladies with hats in this video. Beautiful hats. Not really a hat person, but I think if I lived back then, I would have been. All right, this is another page that I left semi-intact because I liked the title of, of this chapter, Scotland Yard. And then I created tags. We have a lot of these tags throughout the journal, ladies with beautiful hats. On the bottom of this page, I have a pin, a London charm, and a little jewel. And this London charm, let's see if I can lift this up so you can see the London charm. That's one of those happy accidents. I always go, when I go into a craft store, I go to the sales section to see what they have on sale. And this was at Michael's in their sales section for 50 cents. And it was one of those things a couple years ago, you know, didn't have anything like this in mind. And I thought, oh, but it's 50 cents and I've been to London, so I think I'll pick it up. And here we go. Two years later, we have the perfect journal for it. So you never know. Go check the sales bin. Here is some of that beautiful paper from the Paper Studio Pad. Gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Now, we have two kinds of pockets in this journal. We have side pockets. When I put the two pages together, I made a side pocket or a top pocket. Okay, so this one is a side pocket. Pairs soap. I sewed journaling space on the back, and then there's a lace tab, and it goes right in the side. Here I have a circular clip with uh, a little file folder I made that opens up with some journaling space. But then you put it back on with the clip, and it serves as a tuck spot for this journaling card, Cadbury's, the best chocolate. That was one of the finest things about England. My son will tell you there's nothing better than Cadbury eggs. My middle son was actually born in England, so I think he would know. Top pocket, and inside all of the top pockets, we have a large journaling card with these beautiful dresses on them and then a place to journal in the back. Beautiful, beautiful pictures that Artie Mays put together. A pocket that folds down on two sides, and once again, ladies with hats. You can journal on the back. Here we have a tuck, and inside there's a beautiful lady with a hat, of course. And there she goes. Another ticket. And if you take it out, once again, you've got journaling space. Now, no Victorian journal would be complete without Queen Victoria, for whom the Victorian era was named. It was a Christmas card. 
Now it's a journaling card. And it's attached by this hairpin. I love these hairpin. I have several of them. And every once in a while, I'll throw them into a journal. So this dragonfly hairpin made it into this journal. It seemed appropriate. And it's attached to a journaling card. And what I did was I glued the flower on, but I, when I glued it on, I created a tuck and put a smaller tag inside. And this hat is special. She's got a feather plume on it. Here we have a pocket, some journaling cards, receipts, receipt, and then there's uh, an open air bus, double decker open air bus. Fun. This is also a top pocket with another dress inside. Now, I also created pockets that aren't glued down. The first one was glued down. This one is not glued down. You can actually flip it open so you have journaling space here. Then you can close it down and you have a pocket where we have tag and another tag. And it's a side pocket. So I'd say there are plenty of journaling options. This is a railway map. Once again, a picture of Queen Victoria. Here I have a little envelope with a lot of little tickets in it. And then I've hooked it on with a circular clip and it serves as a tuck for another tag. Journaling space, beautiful, another beautiful picture. I had trouble picking my favorite out because they are, they're all so beautiful. And those pink roses, gorgeous, gorgeous. Another journaling tag with the dress. And on the back, space to write. Here we have another two pockets, uh, a journaling tag from the Savoy Hotel. And it also has a side pocket. How to travel in and around London. So if you love all things London, this would be the journal for you. Here we have a pocket, journaling pockets and tags. Here's Ritz Hotel, London. And then once again, I used the flower didn't glue it all the way on and used it as a tuck for that small tag there. Top pocket, another beautiful dress. Here I have an ad for Pears Soap that comes off. It's clipped with one of the circular, circular clips and underneath it, it serves as a tuck for an envelope that has paper inside. And then you can journal on the paper. Put your secret notes in there. Side pocket. Beautiful. I loved these graphics. They were fun to search for. Once again, a side pocket that opens up with journaling space and a couple of journaling cards. There's a pear soap ad, very cute. And then a picture of London Bridge. Here's some lady with hat. I have several clips, the round clips mostly, but this lady or ladies with their hats is clipped on with this little clip that has a cute little charm on it. And then that just clips on here. Here we have some banners that are hooked to the top with a journaling card and a side card, London. And then I have one of my paper flowers. I went and 
overpriced paper flowers. They're pretty expensive, so I came home and learned to make my own. They're a little time consuming, but well worth it. I enjoy my paper flowers. I use them a lot on a lot of a lot of ephemera. I like this page. This page crossword puzzles. I took a flower once again, just glued it on the sides and used it as a tuck for this beautiful journaling card. Just tucks right in there. And then once again, we have some pockets. Could even journal on the flap. Another banner that serves as a tuck for this tag. Another dress journaling card. Oh, I'm getting two at the same time. Beautiful dress. And then each one of them has a little tab, little material tab at the top. Kind of goes with the dress. I see what happened. We had two tags in one. And don't ask me how that happened. We'll find where she belongs and put her back. Here we have another lady, a pocket with one of our tags with the lady in the hat. Here we have another envelope that has paper inside. You can journal and hook it back to your page. And then you can also journal on the page behind it. A lot of options. Journaling card on the side. Journaling card. Space to write underneath. Two more pockets with journaling cards. A tuck. And this nice lady with her hat. Journaling space. Here we have a couple of belly bands with journaling cards underneath. Here's an old ticket. Hyde Park Corner. Piccadilly Circus. Been there, done that. Another ad. And then our last page. We have a pocket with a tag. A couple tags. So there she is. Let me remove some of this. I'll put it back later. Close her up. There she is. Hopefully she will go to the perfect home. I will place her in my Etsy shop uh, tomorrow, the 4th of July. She'll be in the Etsy shop. And I will put that link to my Etsy shop below. All right, let me show you uh, something I'm working on. Probably will be the next next flip through. I'm actually working on some golden books. Let's put her over here so she's out of the way. This one is actually spoken for. It's a special order for somebody. So that's already spoken for. But the pokey little puppy will go in my shop, my Etsy shop. These will be my first golden books, so I'm kind of excited. And I'm using graphic 45 paper, which is beautiful. So I have a feeling this will be a fun project. And when it's done, I will show it to you. 
And then the other thing I wanted to mention before I sign out is in a few days, probably after the holiday, maybe on the weekend we'll do it, I want to do a giveaway for my subbies. For those of you that have um, kind of been with me from the beginning and, and you've been very supportive, not only to the YouTube channel, but on the Facebook page, you've been very supportive and I want to say thank you. So I'm going to have a giveaway. I have what's called a pocket journal. And I'll flip through some of the pocket journals and then we'll have a little giveaway. Uh, we'll have you maybe put your favorite pocket journal in the comments and we'll see, you know, who wins one. So that'll be in a few days. Be looking for that. I want to thank you for joining me. God bless and stay crafty.